Hello everyone, welcome back to more Zelda Link's Awakening. So we got this big chain chomp here, and uh, we're gonna take it with us for a while. Now, you can't really return it to the, the other lady's house because she's gonna want to, you to take it for a walk. Have you even noticed that owl was there? Uh, this is the camera house here. I don't think we can do anything right now. Um, talk to this guy to get started. Oh, actually, we can't get started right now. We have to get rid of the the chain chomp here. We're actually going to need to take this thing with us. As you'll see, it'll be quite handy. It's going to have a pretty big appetite here, because it's going to start munching on enemies here. Uh, which is always good for you. You know, you got an extra ally here to take out these enemies here. The telephone house here. Uh, this is where you can get clues in the game if you're stuck. I mean, the clues in there are about as blatant as you're gonna get. Basically, they tell you exactly where to go. So, if you're lost, you can always go to that, but, you know, we kind of know what to do here. It even munches the big plant up. Man, this thing's hungry. Oh my goodness. I'm munching everything up here. Alright, 50 rupees right there, and, um. Munches more plants here. Yeah, you can't defeat these plants otherwise, so. At least not right now. And, you know, we can't take it into the level with us, unfortunately. You know, it's kind of Super Mario World that you can't take Yoshi into castles. Ghost House, etc. Now this kind of got me stumped for a while. I didn't realize, you know, when I first played this, that you can actually use this magic powder to light torches. That's kind of weird. I'm just gonna have to go along with it, though. Okay, pick up a key there. Um, down here we find, oh, look at that, a shy guy. Yeah, more Mario references here. Now the shy guy kind of moves opposite of you. Um, so to attack it, you just use a spin attack to get it from behind. Alright, crystal switches in this place here, but it's kind of one color, it's kind of weird. Whereas most other games have two colors. Alright, you find more magic powder here, so I'll get some refills. Pick up the easy small key there. You want to head on up first, and you find these two shy guys. So just kind of take them out one by one. And let's go back and get that key really quickly here. And just kind of move by these enemies here. Uh, in this room here, you got some patterns on the floor, so we're gonna obviously push these blocks onto the the decorated floor designs here. Now the game is a little bit annoying in that if you don't have a certain item, it's gonna keep saying, "Oh, you can't do this yet because of this." Kind of annoying. I mean, I kind of wish it. Stop doing that after a point. But 
so many obstacles, it just keeps reminding you. Alright, this room here, um... Jump across into the one-way door here. Alright, time to face the mini-boss, Cyclops, enemy here. Now, again, you want to use spin attacks, because it only takes four hits rather than eight. Well, piece of power already, you know, does the work for me, so beat up that Cyclops. Yeah, you don't want to get thrown around by it, it does a bit of damage to you, so... Alrighty, um... Phone call there, so... Edit some stuff out here. Alrighty, so uh, I'll go back to the beginning here. We can actually go through this door here. There's really nothing much here, so really not significant if you miss this. You only find a stone beak here, but yeah, that might be helpful. Take the shortcut back to the halfway marker. Now this statue here gives you a clue here. So you probably want to take a note of this one. Doesn't mean too much right now, but we'll see what that really means later on. You got a weird thing there that's trying to drag you into the hole here. Uh, pick up the map and, uh, and make your way up here. Some more magic powder refills if you need it, and you actually will need it. If you head over to the left here, you find what looks like Boo Diddly. So if you light one torch, that's really all you need, you can then damage him. And once you defeat both of them, you get the power bracelet. Now, no, uh, you know, Link can pick up these pots really quickly, uh, and that's only because he's got the piece of power. Normally, you don't lift pots that quickly. Okay, ideally, you want to go on the upper path here. If you got the switch going the other way, then you just go on the bottom path and lift the jars and make your way to the top. No big deal. But basically, you want to make your way towards the top. You want to head down down first, and this is where that hint from the owl statue comes in. So you want to first take out the rabbit here. I don't know what they call it, Pole's voice. But you need to use a jar to take it out. And then you take out the bat, and then the Stalfos goes last here. And once you follow the correct order, you'll pick up the Nightmare's Key. Alright, moving on to the right here. Defeat all the enemies there to make a stairway. Now you need this jar here to kind of weigh down this platform. And we're gonna make our way towards the door here, and we got the boss here. And it wasn't that obvious that this is going to be the boss of this dungeon. You know, a big jar. The map is shaped like a jar. Okay, so this first part of the battle is just a, a lot of dodging here. For easiest results, just keep moving in kind of like a circle or figure eight pattern. And, you know, you really won't get hit. 
and then just hit the jar with your sword. And then you just pick it up and throw it into the wall. You're gonna do this like three times here. So it's just rinse and repeat here. As long as you keep moving, um, you shouldn't have a problem dodging this thing. Just going in a circle is your very easy way to defend yourself. After you break the bottle, then switch to your feather. If you don't have a piece of power, use spin attacks here. And then use your feather to dodge at that point. And it takes like another 8 hits if you don't have a piece of power, but again, spin attacks will cut it in half. Okay, I still have to re totally pwn that. What was a genie in a bottle or something? Alright, another instrument here for us, so we are making good progress. So we you know, really, really quickly got two levels done here. Now, getting to this third level will take a little bit longer, and there's actually a lot of stuff to do in between, so... Um, we'll be doing that in a, an upcoming part here. Uh, before we forget, we can... Yeah, see, that's how... It really has trouble picking up those jars. Okay, 50 rupees right there for us, so we will... Uh, luckily we'd be putting that to use. Okay, well, we need, need to uh, make our way back to... ...town here. But there's actually some more stuff we can get first here. Oh yeah, look at that. Eat up the Moblin. Doesn't matter if you have a sword or not. Eat Chain Chomp Power. I don't think there's anything down here. Um, at least with Dead End here. Yeah, it just leaves in a big circle. Uh, but it was a cave here we can go into, so I guess we can take a look in here. Alright, once you can get to this chest here, I think this has another... Uh, ooh, 50 rupees. I thought it was 30, but... Yeah, 50 rupees. And you need the bracelet right here to pick up these little... Skull things. Get rid of these things. Pick up our fourth piece of heart, and that'll give us a new heart container. All right. All right. So in the next part, we'll actually um, give back our bow wow here, and then we can start exploring further. All right. See you guys later.